The Logitech G432 gaming headset is popular among gamers, but many users experience frustrating microphone problems. Understanding these issues and how to diagnose them is the first step toward getting your mic working properly. Users commonly report several types of microphone problems with the G432. The microphone may not be detected at all, produce static or robotic sounds, have very low volume, or show connection issues in the Logitech G-Hub software. The first diagnostic step is checking your physical connection. Extension cables are a common cause of microphone problems, so connect the headset directly to your computer. Try different USB ports and inspect the cable for any visible damage. The G432 features a physical flip to mute function. When the microphone boom is flipped up vertically, it's muted. Make sure the microphone is positioned down near your mouth for it to be active and pick up your voice. In Windows, you need to verify that the G432 microphone is set as the default recording device. Access sound settings through the taskbar, navigate to the recording tab, and ensure the G432 is both enabled and set as the default microphone. On Mac OS, access sound settings through system preferences. In the input tab, select the G432 from the device list and adjust the input volume. You can monitor the input level to ensure the microphone is receiving audio. Modern operating systems require explicit permission for microphone access. In Windows, check privacy settings to ensure apps can access the microphone. On Mac OS, verify that applications have been granted microphone permissions in security and privacy settings. The Logitech G-Hub software sometimes fails to detect the G432, showing a not connected status. If this happens, try enabling the microphone in Windows sound settings first, then restart G-Hub. Updating or reinstalling the software may also resolve detection issues. It's important to set realistic expectations for the G432 microphone. While it's adequate for basic gaming communication and voice chat, it's not designed for professional recording or streaming. If you need higher audio quality, consider upgrading to a dedicated microphone or a headset specifically designed for content creation. Once you've identified the microphone issue, start with the simplest solution. Restart your computer. This clears temporary system conflicts that may be affecting your headset. Next, update your Logitech G432 drivers. You can do this through Windows Device Manager or download the latest drivers from the Logisofter website, which were last updated on April 3, 2025. If updating drivers doesn't resolve the issue, try rolling back to a previous driver version. Sometimes newer drivers can introduce compatibility problems with your specific system configuration. Reinstall the Logitech G-Hub software to resolve software-related issues. After reinstalling, Ensure the correct microphone is selected and volume levels are properly configured within the application. For Xbox app-specific problems on PC, verify the headset connection and check the app's sound settings. The Xbox app sometimes requires additional configuration for third-party headsets. Test your headset on another computer to isolate whether the problem is with the headset hardware or your system configuration. This helps determine if you need hardware replacement or further software troubleshooting. If all troubleshooting fails, consider that the G432 microphone is rated as average at best. For better microphone quality, alternatives like the Logitech G Pro or HyperX Cloud offer superior audio performance for communication and streaming. These troubleshooting steps should resolve most Logitech G432 microphone issues. Start with simple solutions like restarting and updating drivers then progress to more advanced fixes if needed.